Hello and welcome back to Bampton Insight. The vlogs are back by popular demand. And before we get started, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. More on them later. So we're currently in Germany as we play for a team in the Bundesliga called BC Wipperfeld, and we spent the last two days playing team matches here. And on Friday, we got an email saying we've been promoted into the main draw of the German Open. So we thought it'd be really fun to show you what it's like at one of the major events on the Bampton World Tour. So we're about to jump in the car and head to Mulheim. Let's go. So we've just arrived at the hotel, quickly unpacked, and now we're off to train with the rest of the English team in the main hall. So we just finished practice, now we're back to the hotel to get showered and get some food. See you in a bit. Greg, we find some YouTube vlogs. All right, so we've just got back from having dinner. We had some chicken, rice and vegetables from a nice Chinese restaurant. It's always quite a good meal to go for because it's got a good amount of protein, carbs and obviously veg in there as well. Recovering from the day's training and also fueling up for tomorrow. So, speaking of tomorrow, Yes, we are now eagerly awaiting the manager's meeting, which is at seven o'clock. That's going to determine who we actually play in this tournament. Yeah, and they're playing the top half of the draw tomorrow and the bottom half of the draw on Wednesday. So we might actually end up having another training day tomorrow, but we might end up playing the tournament. So we'll keep you updated on who we have. Two hours later. So it's currently 9.45 p.m. and we've just found out that we're playing Batnaga and Krasto from India. So we know that we're playing tomorrow, but we don't actually know exactly what time we'll be playing. So for now, we're just going to get ready for bed, wait for those timings to be out, and we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, morning everybody. It's now 10 a.m. in the morning. We've just finished a very nice breakfast, chatting with Mark Lamsfuss and Christine Kuber, who are both from our German team. And now we're just on a little walk around the city, loosen up the legs, and yeah, we'll head back after this walk, do some match analysis, and we'll take you through that. All right, so it's currently just gone 11 a.m. and we're playing at around between three and four o'clock. And what we do before we're gonna get the bus to the hall is we're gonna watch our opponents play. Now, luckily we actually played them around six months ago at the Scottish Open. So we have some very relevant footage to watch. Unfortunately, we lost that 18 in the third. So we're hoping for some revenge today. Uh, but yeah, what we're gonna look out for is firstly, what we didn't do so well, um, what their strengths were, but probably most importantly is what we actually did really well and what we can look to implement more of today. So yeah, anything else to add? Serve and return is so important in doubles, but we were looking at kind of where we were serving to, where they were returning to, and also where they were serving to, and uh, maybe where the gaps were in the court. Let's go! Jackets from Victor. Pick them up. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Here he is. The man of the hour. Big James there. Janssen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, James. This is a little warm up hall with two courts. Pretty busy. A lot of players getting ready for their matches. About to start getting ready for our match. Let's go. So we've just got back from our match, really happy to win 21-9 in the third set, so we're through to the second round. Uh, so we did a bit of media interviews and stretching down after the match. So we're going to go out for food because we're really hungry, but once we get back we'll sit down and go through a little bit of our analysis on the match for you. But first, here's a few clips. A 
And now you've seen some clips, let's hear what we said directly after the match in our post-match interview with Tobias Wodenka. So how was your match? It was tough. I think we were leading the whole way in the first and the second set up until like 15 or 16 in the second and then they had some really good rallies. But I think in the third set, again, at the start, it was until about seven all, it was really close. And then after the 11 break, we came out really fast and I think they weren't sure what to do. So ended up quite good. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, that interview pretty much summed it up and I'd say we got our tactics pretty much spot on by the end of it. Uh, so yeah, we had, we had fun and uh, it was good to see lots of people there supporting us as well. We had a few comments saying, I've seen your videos on YouTube, which is just really nice for us to see. So we're now playing again on Thursday against the Malaysian pair. So tomorrow we're gonna be training, we're gonna be getting some physio, doing a few other bits. And most excitingly, we're going to be hopefully playing some fun games against some familiar faces that you just might know. So we'll see you then. Morning everyone. So we've just had a good breakfast. Now before we head off to the practice hall, we're going to spend an hour doing something really exciting. As some of you might know, we got engaged in 2020 and we're now in the stage of starting to plan the wedding. And we've decided that we're going to create a wedding website using Squarespace who are kindly sponsoring this video. But the funny thing is, is that we actually decided we were going to create a wedding website using Squarespace before they even reached out to us. Okay, so we've just spent 15 minutes starting to create our website. What do you think of it? Looking good, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, to be honest, we've been amazed at how easy it is to use. We secured a simple domain name so that my granddad didn't get confused. We used one of Squarespace's templates and customized it to fit our style and created a simple page for all our guests to see the important details. And the options of what you can do with Squarespace are endless. Whether you want to start a blog, sell digital or physical products, or even create your own wedding website. So check out squarespace.com for a free 14 day trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash badmintoninsight to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code badmintoninsight at checkout. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So we just finished a good practice session and now we're going to head to the main hall and watch a few of the matches. So we just sat here watching Mita Watanabe and Higashino against all the compatriots, Kineko and Masatomo. So as you just saw this afternoon, we watched some matches. Uh, we watched Watanabe and Higashino lose. So technically we beat them because we got further in the tournament than that. But they'll probably go and win the All England now though, won't they? So yeah, and then after that we did a bit of editing in a coffee shop, although it wasn't that productive because we got distracted by Marcus and Lauren and also the Scottish team. And yeah, since then we went out for food. Again, we had some chicken, vegetables and rice as it worked well for us on Monday. And we also played some shuffleboard in the hotel, but Greg did unfortunately win that Come one. On. Congrats to the shuffleboard champ. <laughs> anyway, now to the present. So it's now around 8.30 p.m. And we've just found out that we're on at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So for the rest of the evening, we're gonna carry on editing this vlog that you're watching right now, and then we're gonna get some sleep. So we'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Hi everyone, so it's Thursday now, and if you're watching carefully, you might notice that we're actually in a different hotel room. And this is because we didn't initially book our hotel for tonight. 
and when we went downstairs this morning they were actually fully booked so yeah we've had to move but we're here now and the plan for today is the same as tuesday we're going to do some match analysis now and then head to the hall for our match so the match we're watching is their first round match which is probably the most relevant as it's in the same hall so same conditions it's the most recent and they're also playing another european pair who we actually played recently so just packing our bag ready to leave for the hall i thought i'd show you quickly what we put in there so key items accreditation pass freshly strung and freshly gripped rackets and then in here we've got drink some snacks shoes a spare change of kit including a spare top in case we're in the same color as our opponents and then in this bag we've just got like therabands a little foam rolling ball and other little bits and yeah that's it As you guys saw, we lost 18 in the third to the Malaysian pair who are currently ranked 10 in the world. Overall, we're pretty happy with how we played, but yeah, losing just sucks. We won't go into too much more detail on the match now because this video is getting pretty long, but if you are interested in our thoughts, then we'll probably go through that in our next Patreon exclusive match analysis live stream. So if you want to check that out, we'll include a link to that in the description below. But on a more positive note, we had a chat with the current world number ones in mixed doubles, Dechapult and Sapsiri after our match. So we really enjoy your vlogs. And we think they're really good, very funny. Uh, in, in our videos, we always say smash the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Can you guys say that for us? For our video? What? Smash what? Smash the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button. This subs this this subscribe button. Button. Smash sub subscribe button. Okay, okay. Yeah, you ready? Three, two, one. Smash the subscribe button. <laughs> you like it? Yes, yes, yes. I try. Are you doing one from this tournament? Uh, yes, maybe yeah. German and England. Oh, yeah. together. together. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. So that's it for the German Open. If you're still with us at this point, then please leave a racket emoji in the comments below. And as the ties said, smash the subscribe button. And we'll see you back here next Sunday for some more badminton insight. Bye.